Hello everyone and welcome back. Um I gotta make a confession. Um I think I'm uh, addicted to this game. Uh, if you know what I mean. Um I have done quite a bit today. Um I am level 44 right now. And uh today alone I took on four bosses. They were um, Pelora the Feywalker I took on. Um, I also took on Quincy the Bandit King, uh, Beatrice the Tailor, and Tristan the Vampire Hunter. Um, it wasn't my plan to do four bosses. I literally went to go do her um, and him and then I was just harvesting stuff and ran into Beatrice and Tristan and so I killed them. Um, I did um, lure him, lure Tristan towards a golem to help get some of us out down. And then I finish in the last three quarters of the way or whatever. Um, Beatrice, she she's fast, little lady. Um, I uh, luckily I had uh, drained the blood from one of the villagers, and it was like ninety-two percent blood um, quality. And so it really helped me be able to keep up with her because she, I, I wouldn't have been able to keep with, up with her without that. She's very, very fast. Um, Quincy the Bandit King, he wasn't too bad of a fight. Uh, Pelora the Fae Walker. Um, the only annoying, the annoying things with her is she does like this spell where she pretty much tells you to go away and your guy just runs away for a, a little bit and then she summons like these butterflies is what I think they are they're like spirit butterflies they're really weird uh, and it's a lot easier if when she summons those you kill them instead of just focusing on her because those things get annoying real fast um, but yes I took on four bosses. I built a uh, castle throne, finally. Um, and my minions are out collecting resources for me. And, uh, you know, uh, since we got the castle throne, that means we got iron. So we also have over here uh, the smithy. Um, This is our garden. We got a couple cotton seeds, which is very nice. We got a loom and the tailoring bench. Um, so we have access to the hollow fang gear now, uh, which is very nice. Um, I am in the process of getting more iron so that I can uh, upgrade my weapons. Um, one super cool thing is, it's like, I guess it's like the main OP weapon, but I want to make that the General Soul Reaper. That thing looks sweet. I I, I finished uh, harvesting mill uh, not millstone mist stone um, up by the cotton farms and whatnot. Um, and then the greater blood essence, I got plenty of that. Um, seeing as we took out Tristan the Vampire Slayer, we can just turn blood essence into greater blood essence. The only thing I'm lacking is the iron ingots. Um, 
So that is why I am focusing on going up in to the more northern part and harvesting the iron. Man, I'm yawning so much. Sorry, guys. Well, it is 3.30 in the morning, so I, I, I mean, it makes sense. Um, look how many freaking re regular blood as uh, greater blood essences I have. Just in that one alone. And then, I mean, all this, uh, I, I put some other randomosities in here. But this was all filled with uh, blood essence. This was all filled with blood essence. And this was all filled with blood essence. And I've used that and put it in there to make the greater blood essence for some of these other builds and coffins. And there was something else that required it. I, th I think some wolves. Or some potions, some uh, some other builds or something required some greater blood essence, and so I did that. Um, yes, my base is n kind of in a disarray. Uh, I will be. I don't know if I will have a video and I'll just chill with you guys and uh, revamp my base, or if I'll just. Uh, do it on my own and then show you the end result um i have a lot of horses i got three freaking horses i only named one of them rupert look at this little dude little rupert um but these other two i was up in the area and i was sick of dealing with all the freaking um patrols so there, there's so many horses up there, like... They're not gonna miss three horses. I mean, I, I should just be taking one horse back and forth, but... I'm lazy. Um... Anyways, um... Another thing, uh... It is much easier for us to take on golems. Um... Now that we have the merciless bow, um, it honestly isn't really much of a fight. Um, I mean, if you still get caught super close to them, uh, th then you'll get some damage, but I'll just shoot him a bunch with the bow. There's usually one around my base, but... Ah, see? see? Look how much damage this freaking bow does to Golem. Well, and then you little fart get annoyed. It just chunks him! Hey, come over here, so you can destroy some of these trees for me, so I don't have to farm. Yeah, you, you big ugly what? Double dash, that double, da this double dash thing. It, it, it's ridiculous. You can just kite people all day. He, 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 he ain't got nothing on me. So juicy.
27. I remember like when we started this game and it was like three damage and you're just like oh my gosh this is gonna take forever to so kill anything. Goodbye. It's honestly easier for me to kill them now than try and go mine the amount of supplies I would get just from killing them. Um, so once you get the this merciless hunter's crossbow, you don't have to worry about um, the golems anymore and the treants. They're just weaklings to you now. And I do recommend having the double dash as one of your things. It's one of my favorites. Seriously, bear man. Too easy. Um, but anyways, I have been really cranking on this game lately. Oh, I keep leaving this thing on. I'm a freaking idiot. I need to remember to turn it off. Um, but yeah, slowly but surely, we're making it all the. We're gonna make it all the way through this game. Um, also, this right here, uh, you c can build um, one of the portals right at your base, so you don't have to go travel to one in order to travel to the other side of the map. You can put one right there in your base and bada bing bada boom I can uh, go to the next way gate. Um, although you do need to remember that you can't be carrying items when you try to uh, teleport because it won't let you. So um, that's a little update on my base. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next one and not sure exactly what that win it'll be or what we will be doing in that video but uh stay tuned uh good night ciao